no review. It's been a minute. I've been dealing with a whole bunch of stuff, but that's okay because I'm back. And we have some boxes to review. Now, for a minute, I, was, I already did June and July, but I know I have a lot of stuff to go through before my sisters kill me without letting all of it go. So, first up, we are going to review the August base box, BoxyCharm. So, I had to cancel my subscription because, one, I just don't have anywhere to put a lot of that stuff, and I'm kind of glad I did because it wasn't a lot, nothing really interested me, so, you know, it is what it is. But this month's theme was Go All Out, and first up, we have... Some Manicadar skincare hydrating face mist. It's a pretty bottle, but I'm not really into like face mist and and stuff like that. I have oily skin, so I mean, I live in Colorado, so it is kind of dry here, but I don't really need it. So this might be going to a sister. Next up, we have Frank Body Booty Drops <laughs> Firming Body Oil. That sounds like fun. But let's see. It's a uh, caffeine for, it says a butt forklift. That's what the caffeine does. And grapeseed oil for a baby soft booty. All right. Let's see. I haven't opened up some of this stuff. Oh, but it comes in a little jar like that. I wonder what it smells like. Oh, that's cute. It says drop it like it's hot. Well, you can't say it. Drop it like you're hot. My bad. Let's see. So it comes in a little dropper. It kind of smells like coffee. That's weird. But hmm. I might keep this for myself. Getting a little older. Um, alright. Next up is uh Pineapple Haze by Truly. It's a CBD glossy lip butter. I don't know how I feel about CBD products, but let's see. Ooh, it smells good. Well, you can't really tell. But it's like green and yellow on the inside. But it smells good. Oh, I forgot to tell you the prices. So this lip butter goes for... Where is it? Oh, $16. Ooh, expensive. And the booty drops go for $17.95. And the face mist goes for $19, so not bad. The box is like $35. I think they went up. I don't remember. I had to cancel, like I said, so I'm not sure. Next up is Dr. Lily Fan Probiotic Lash Enhancer. Hmm. Yeah, I don't... I mean, I have lashes. You probably can't tell right now, but I have them, so I don't really need this. I specifically remember picking this out because one of my sisters doesn't have lashes and she's always complaining. And then when I said, oh, I got this and she was like, oh, I already have some. But yeah. Mm, that smells so good. It smells kind of clean. I like that. I'm going to have to say that for myself. And this goes for $68. Mm, that's what lash extensions are for. I got time for that. Spent eight dollars. It looked like we got three sets of lashes. So there's that. And last in this box is the let's see, Laura Geller, the Casual Collection Multi Finish Eyeshadow Palette. I've never heard of this brand at all. But let's see what it looks like. And it retails for forty five dollars. This reminds me of one of those brands that you see at TJ Maxx. So, I don't know if I paid full price for it, but we'll see. But the box is real sleek. You can see my screen behind me. That's okay. Yeah. So, now there's all that. Eh, it's pretty basic. It's a basic palette. You probably can't tell. Huh? Camera. Oh, no, it's actually doing it pretty much justice. But it's pretty basic. 
I don't know anybody who wears these kind of shades. I mean, I could let my daughter play in them. I don't know. We'll see. But there's that. So, not bad. But it's the base box. And that's kind of why I'm glad I canceled my subscription. Because I wasn't really getting much. So. But while I pack this away, let's get into this hair, honey. I went to the school and got a silk press and a trim because I desperately needed it for $18. And I will say that they did a good job. She did a good job, actually. She did a really good job. But all right. And my curls have been holding for longer than an hour, so I'm pretty happy about that. But all right, let's move on to the premium box. So this month, will go all out. The things are always the same. I thought that was weird, but it is what it is. So this is a brand I've been wanting to try for a really long time. It's Vesca Beauty. And this is a highlighting powder. You can use on your cheeks and your eyes. Hmm. And this is in the color, does it have a color? Dream? I like highlighters. I don't use them a lot. I don't know if I can get it open. But I do like them. But I guess because we haven't really been going outside, I don't really see the need for a highlighter because the mask is going to cover it. And we, we, we wear masks. So let's see. I like the packaging. It's pretty simple. It's real clean. And it is vegan, I think. Yeah, vegan. Ooh. Oh my gosh, I never saw this before. I don't know if you can see it, but I'm keeping this one. It's like a deep golden copper. You can't really tell on my hands, but I'm keeping this one. They can't have that one. This one retails for $28. So not bad, but that's expensive for a highlighter. You can get that big old honor roll crayon case highlighter for like $18. And they're in Walmart now. So that's cool. All right. Next up we have Earth Harbor Sunshine Dew. It's a cleansing, antioxidant cleansing oil. I guess I got to do my research because I don't put a lot of products on my face as far as cleansing. Because my... Skin is super oily, but the packaging is pretty. I wonder what it just smell like. It doesn't really smell like anything. But this retails for $24. So not bad, but I don't know. Maybe I'll try it out. See how I like it. Just to keep the moisture in my face. Next up. Grown Alchemist. Age Repair Gel Mask. Let's see. This one retails for $79. See, that's how they get you with these boxes because the skincare, skincare is not cheap, like at all. It's just not cheap. And so when you get a little tube like this for $79, of course it's gonna pay for the box because skincare is cheap, so. But then I also wonder how good is it really if it's in the $50 subscription box, but I digress. Doesn't smell like anything, but hmm, not bad. Maybe I'll try this too. But yeah, $79. The only way she was purchasing, see, anything like that. Let's see. Next up. Ooh, I picked this one out because I was super excited because I didn't want to go to Sephora and pay it. Pay for it. But this is the Fenty Beauty What It Do Makeup Refreshing Spray. And I've seen people use this um, like as a set, like a refresher with a setting spray. And this is full size. Oh, the plastic. bottle's plastic. So, all right. But I'll definitely be keeping this because, yeah. It retails for $30. Pretty much in line with all their products. Like all their face products are like $30. I'm just waiting to try the, the powder foundation because sometimes you don't want all that. You just want to dust it on and go. 
But up next, we have Osea Sea Mineral Mist. And I told my sister-in-law about this, and she said she likes these products. But I don't know anything about it. But the packaging is pretty, and that's a glass bottle. So it would look nice on your vanity, I think. This one is $38. It's a toning mist. I didn't know that. I like toners. I do. Huh. I might keep this one. Unless I already told her she can have it. I can't remember. We'll see. All right. And last but not least in the premium box for August are the LaRousse. What are these? Face discs. They're clean. So you can use these to like, I guess you could use these to clean your, clean your skin, like wipe off your makeup, like a makeup eraser or like skincare or actually I've seen people on YouTube put these, put like foundation on with these. I don't know that I would do that because I don't know. I'm not that skilled in makeup yet. So I can't do all that. But yeah, so that was the August box. Oh, this retails for $24. So I don't know. So the white one, you remove makeup with the gray one, you apply toners and serums, and then the black one you use to wash your face. Oh, so maybe they have other ones that you actually apply the makeup with. I don't know. But cool. I like a good old fashioned brush. I'm still trying to figure out how I'm going to learn to use my uh, beauty blender. And everybody loves a beauty blender. I just don't know how to use it. So let's see. So yeah, so that was the August premium box. Let's get to September. Oh, I dropped it. Okay, September's base box. Oh, I don't know where the card is. Oh, I found it. So this one's theme was behind the scenes. I like that, that's cute. I actually have a like a little tote bag that has these prints. It's pretty cute. But yeah, so first up, I was excited about this one too. Cause I would, well, I always see these products in like TJ Maxx too, but they're always cheap. Well, they're, no, I take that back. They're not cheap, even in TJ Maxx, or at least by my standards, they're not. But this is the Glam Glow Youth Mud Glow Stimulating Treatment. That is absolutely a mouthful. And I'm not going to open this because I don't know if I want to try it out or gift it or sell it. So, I don't know. But it's got green tea, a natural clay blend, and volcanic rock. Volcanic. Did I say that right? But it's supposed to be anti-aging, fine line, smooth, refined glow. I don't know. It's full size. It's a pretty big box. But this retails for $60. See? That's, but in, like... TJ Maxx, you can find it for like maybe 30, maybe, I don't know. But yeah, like their products are still good, but I guess it's an exfoliating treatment mask. So I don't know, maybe I'll try it. Maybe I should get into skincare. I don't know, we'll see. Oh no. My bad, I was having some technical difficulties right there. But yeah, so there's that. Next up, we have the Huda Beauty Demi Matte Lip Cream Lipstick. This is in the color Feminist. I haven't really tried any of her products. I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to get this out. But I was excited about trying her foundation and I just could not make a match. But that finish, honey, was bomb. And these retail for $20. Okay, not bad. I could probably make this work. I don't know if you can see the color. It's like a mauve-ish color. I could probably make that work, but we'll see. Yeah, so that's $20. Let me know if you guys like her lipsticks. Because I want to try some of the bullet ones. The bullet ones are nice, though, too. All right. The next up is the Georgette Clinger Marula Primer. Marula oil is very good for your hair. And if I could figure out where I could buy it, I would put it in my current hair mix, hair oil mix. So let's see, this is $32. And it's supposed to blur imperfection and ensure an all day radiant finish. 
hydrating, long wearing, cushion skin, has hyaluronic acid in it. Acid. Weird. Huh. Okay. I don't know. We'll see. It says for all skin types, so maybe I'll have to try that one day and see how I like it. So, oh, there we go. Up next is the Pinky Rose Cosmetics two um or multi-use makeup sticks pump your base they have some gorgeous eyeshadow palettes i have i've gotten the exotic peacock and there's another one um i forgot what they're called but i have to show those another day but these are a cream based multi-use makeup stick can be used on eyelids as an eyeshadow or a primer to your eyeshadow Okay, because I'm always looking for those because sometimes I want to wear like bright colors like pinks and stuff like that And sometimes they just kind of I'm say I have a hooded eye, but Yeah, this would be pretty cool to have as a base I'll have to try that out. So this color is hip-hop And This is ooh, that's pretty Put that down Jazz Oh, that's pretty. It's like a copperish, like a bronze copper. Can't really tell, but yeah, it's pretty. I don't know if I would try that one. Maybe as like an inner corner, because that tip is like fine for right there. That'd be pretty. But these retail for $20, but their makeup is pretty reasonable. Um, I just so happen to get those palettes on BoxyCharm when they have like the pop-up shops and the charm rooms and they open up, because you can get that stuff like half off. Like Fenty foundation right now is like $18 and it's usually what 32 34 for the hydrating one. So yeah, pretty good deal. All right. Is that it? Yeah. Last but not least, quick slick by insert name here. I've seen this on Instagram, but I didn't really understand. I thought it was like a private label brand or something like that. But this is quick slick hair essence designed to quickly and easily touch up your hair no alcohol safe for sensitive scalps non irritating Sm slick and smooth your baby hairs and flyaways with a light peach scent and it retails for $22 but I want to open it now because it sounds cool I don't think I really need this well not right now I could use it but I'm not going to let's see Oh, so it's like one of those little brushes. I don't really know if I smell peach, but there's definitely some kind of fruity scent in there. I don't know. I don't think I'll use this though. Hmm, we'll see. Maybe I'll research it and see how it works. Cause it's kind of wet and my hair will just shrivel up. So yeah, that was the September base box. Pretty decent. Like I said, it's the skincare that makes the boxes super expensive. This alone was sixty dollars. The box is thirty-five. So you're definitely you're gonna get your money's worth if you consider it just off of that. But let's go to September premium. All right. First up, I absolutely love Beauty Bakery's products. Like their packaging is the cutest ever. Like they're s consistent, let me say that. Like them and um, the crayon case, their packaging is on, it's on point all the time. So this is the Milk and Honey Highlighter Palette. And this retails for $38. They're, they're kind of expensive. But I'm here for supporting small black owned businesses. Of course, I don't even think she's small no more because honey, she in Target and Ulta and she's doing it. So here are the colors. They're really pretty. That's calling me. But they're really pretty. And I can't wait to try these. Like even the pink is pretty and I think I could do something with that. But yeah. I'm excited about this. I specifically chose this. I remember that. But like, look at the packaging though. Milk and honey. 
You got the honeycombs. It's cute. So there's that. Up next is, oh, the Fenty Beauty Snap Shadows. Now, I personally have not heard a lot of good things about the quality of the, the eyeshadows, but it was fancy, so, and it was a choice, so I chose it. So this one is number seven, I think. I forgot how they do their names or whatever. Yeah, seven, this is number seven. And it's just super basic, basic shadows. Nothing spectacular. But like the packaging is cool because all of their packaging is like magnetic. So you just snap them on the back. So that's pretty cool. But then the colors aren't anything to write home about. But that's really, I guess that's all they had. But these one, this one goes for $25. That's a lot. Holy chow. For $25, I need at least 10 to 12 shades. 10 to 12 colors to make $25 worth buying an eyeshadow palette. Where I don't care how cute the packaging is, who is by, but yeah. So, we have up next, Bloom Effects. Bloom Effects, I can't even talk. Two Up Dew Mist. Hydrating Mist, what is this for? It's a multitasking face mist that delivers a brightening boost of antioxidants, plant extra extracts, I can't talk. Supposed to refresh and energize your face. Okay. I don't know. Let's see if it smells like anything. It doesn't smell like anything. But the mist is really fine, so that works. But this retails for $34, so I don't know. I'm not into face mist because, you know, my hair get wet. Well, at least the way I spray. And I shrivel up, and if you just straighten your hair, you know. Nobody got time for that. So, yeah. So, up next, we have Tarte C Glotion Skin Perfector. They have like a, this is like their part of their new skincare line, I think. But the packaging is cute. I guess I could show you that. Packaging is cute. Real simple. Let's see. This retails for $32. It's a four-in-one com uh, complexion perfector. Works to prime and extend makeup wear, hide imperfections, glow, and brighten. Okay. The only, oh, it's not. I don't want to open it yet. But the only thing I know about Tarte is that their Shape Tape Concealer is like the best and only product people recognize. So, I don't know. But who knows? Well, maybe we could try it. See what it's going to do. I mean, they're, they have good products. They had that, you know, color scandal like last year or two years ago, something like that. But I don't know. We'll try it out. If I can close it. But yeah, that's thirty-two dollars. Up next is Verb Ghost Oil Smoothing Moringa Blend and Weightless Hair Oil. This retails for eighteen dollars. Supposed to revitalize strands from root to ends. Hmm. Works to hydrate and fight fairies. Now, if you know me, you know I already use my own makeup oil. I mean, not makeup oil, but hair oil that I blend up, which I absolutely love. But it's thick. Thick, 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 thick. Ooh, but it smells good. I don't necessarily know if it was made for my texture of hair, but ooh, it smells good. But it's got that not greasy feel. It's like a, I don't know how to describe it, but it's like slick, but not greasy, if that makes sense. So yeah, that's $18. I don't know if that's for me neither. But uh, let's see. Next up, um, is that it? Oh, yeah, that's it. See, it's the skincare that gets you. Well, actually, no, I think it was the makeup in this particular box that was most expensive. But anyway, so yeah, so this is the Complex Culture Sonic T-Bar Facial Massager. I don't necessarily know that this is the one I wanted, but I have the wanted one. Ooh, and it's pretty. It's like rose gold and gold. Or like a pinky 
cold. Now let's see if it turns on. How does it work? Oh, it doesn't do anything? You just... Oh, maybe that's how you do it. I don't know. There, there are instructions. Activate the massager with turning counterclockwise to the rounded end. Oh, it requires a battery. I'm going to go get one. I'll be right back. Okay, so I got a battery. So, we just unscrew it. And how do you put the battery in? That's dumb. I'll put it in like that and see if it works. Oh, it does. It's vibrating. So, yeah. So, okay. I don't know what it's supposed to do. It tickles. But let's see. Oh, so you angle it against your face and gently smooth it upwards and outwards from the jawline to the chin. I don't know. Maybe I don't know. But that's cool. I didn't know I needed a battery, so. Oh, okay, so that's cool. So this little doohickey is $58. So, I don't know. We'll see. Maybe I'll do it for a week and see how it's supposed to work. But I don't know. But that, my friends, is it for now. Um, now I can officially do a declutter. And I will actually do that this time. So I will try to stay up with more content and more videos as they come. I'll even try some makeup on or try to put it on because I am not a professional. Um, yeah, so we, we'll go from there. But yeah, so that was my BoxyCharm collection for now. I might renew it, but... I'm just not really feeling it because sometimes the stuff just isn't that great. Like I will maintain my login though because in the mega drop that they have going on right now, those huge Anastasia Beverly Hills palettes, the Norvina ones that were like 60 some dollars, $19. Okay. So totally here for that. Um, but yeah, that's all I got guys. So hopefully I will see you guys soon. And yeah, so have fun. Bye.